Hello everyone, my name is Cody and I'm a DevRel engineer here at Alchemy. And today I wanted to announce the launch of the Alchemy MCP server. The MCP server allows AI agents to interact with our Alchemy APIs in a structured way. And it's super easy to set up. Let me show you. So here we have the NPM package and we have the configuration file that we need to add to our AI agent client in order to set up the MCP server. So let's move over to Cursor, which is the AI client that I've been using more recently. We can go to settings, go to cursor settings, go down to MCP. We're going to add a new global MCP server. So I'm just going to grab my configuration over my other screen, paste this in. And we can see here that we have the NPM package that we're pulling down and an Alchemy API key. If you need an Alchemy API key, just go to alchemy.com and you can get one completely for free. We're going to save this, look back over to cursor settings real quick. We can see that the tool is running and we have all these different methods that the LLM is able to call. So let's close this out and let's try to do some prompts. So first, let's just get the price of ETH today. It's the price of ETH today. So it's going to fetch token price by symbol. We could see that it's passing in the ticker symbol for ETH. We're going to run this tool, gets back a response. That was quick. And it's saying that the price of ETH is approximately 1785. Awesome. Let's try one more prompt with these prices. Let's check what the price of ETH is or was last week. What was the price of ETH last week? Let's see what it comes back with. So you can see that it called the MCP tool fetch token price history by time frame. This is actually the same API method in terms of Alchemy APIs on the back end. Uh, however, we've just created one that allows the LMM to parse uh, things like last week, last year, and things like that. Just make it a little bit easier. So let's run this tool. Awesome. So now we got all the prices from last week for Ethereum. And this price has seen some fluctuations with a notable increase on April 23rd, 2025. Amazing. We're all going to make it. Let's do one more prompt here. Let's get the transfers that occurred on Vitalik's Ethereum account uh, from a specific block. So uh, what transfers occurred on, let me grab his address from block and have it converted to hex here. All right, and let's see what it comes back with. Awesome. So we got the calling MCP tool fetch transfers, which makes a ton of sense. We can see the inputs for the from block and the from address. We're going to run this tool, get the response. And we can see that the LM is returning a summarized list of the transactions that occurred from that block to the latest block. Amazing. These transactions include transfers of USDC and other ERC20 tokens like saving Ethereum, Vitalik, and up and up. Need more details for their transactions? Let me know. Great. So that is the basics of the Alchemy MCP server. Uh, one, more th one more thing I will leave you guys with is we do have an open source repository for the MCP server. So if you have any feature requests or you want to contribute to it, feel free to make a PR or put up an issue on the repository. And definitely let us know what you guys build. We would love to share it with the rest of our community. Thank you so much and enjoy building.